Tuesday. Hey, organic BFFs, all you besties. Eat organic. Bon appetit, time to eat. We got some fresh organic blueberries. This farm, they got some good blueberries. I think they're kind of tiny, but these look pretty good size today. But the last ones I bought last week, they were tiny. The sweetest of cantaloupe, the sweetest. It's super sweet like candy. And a nice, firm, crunchy, sweet, decadent, full of water, watermelon. I was eating it when I was cutting it up. I washed it I always, of course, like everybody else, wash my fruit. I didn't used to, but now I do a lot, especially all this year. Uh, and I think half of last year, but I do it with the vinegar and the, and the baking soda just to keep it, you know, healthy. But, and I like all my fruit firm. I don't like nothing squishy. And every single Tuesday will be a new video. Make sure y'all check out my shorts. I'm always jumping around, dancing. If you like dancing, join me. And also anybody that want to collab with me, because you know, YouTube has that new, um, you know, link up with other YouTubers. So if you want to link up with me, we can eat, we can talk, we can make a, the same recipe. I'll pick up the same ingredients. Uh, shout out to OO Yummy. Y'all check her out. And um, yeah, she makes some wonderful dishes. Her chocolate pudding out of avocado, it looked it just absolutely had me mouth had my mouth water. So shout out to O Yummy on that double O Yummy, and um, so yeah, if you want to be on the channel with Tuesday May, aka BFF, you know, aka back in the day, Tammy Terrific, my nickname Tammy, but it's Tuesday May. So yeah, jump on the channel, or I can join you on your channel. We can collab, have a good time, whatever you want to do. But we're going to get into this because after this, I'm going to cook some um, shrimp, broccoli, and I got, I picked up some organic tomato, I mean tomatoes, potatoes, 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 tomatoes, tomatoes, but I picked up some potatoes and um, those potatoes are really tiny. I don't know what's going on. It seems like all the food is shrinking and getting like little miniature food. But anyway, I picked up a paper bag full of those. So, um, yeah, I'm going to whip those up after I chum on some of this. Mmm. Mmm. These are super tart. I finally picked up some lemons. I just want to say, if anyone's watching and if um, you might be a vegan, you may be a vegetarian, you may love fruit. Fruit life is my life. Fruit and life is... A, like QT says, food and life is a beautiful thing. Well, fruit and life is a beautiful thing, especially organic. But um, berries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, all the berries are excellent for your health. Excellent for your cells because you want to eat for your cells. And inside the cells is the mit mitochondria and you want to make sure those stay healthy. Because if you keep your cells healthy, your organs will be healthy, and you will stay healthy. And not come down with the common diseases. But blueberries and all the berries, you have to eat organic. You don't want those sprayed with chemicals. You don't want to eat the chemicals. Mm. These little purple gems. And all the colors in the food, or all the colors in fruits and vegetables, you know, are all natural phytonutrient, phytonutrient from the sun. You know, the sun has kissed all this. Um, if you want to stay healthy and energetic, this has to be like 80, 90% of your diet. Or 100%. Like fully raw Christina. She don't even eat any cooked food. Hers is all raw. Which these individuals I've been following for since I've been on YouTube. And since they've been on YouTube. You kind of know your own tribe, you know? 
Mm -mm. If it's soft, it's a no for me. Also, I've been, I'm doing a pull-up challenge for all you ladies out there. Check out my short and post you a short. And I'm going to make it hashtag pull-up channel. Or, or channel. Hashtag pull-up challenge. And you just pull up and hold it. And if you need to practice, practice. Because that's what I've been doing, practicing. And if you love to dance, if you want to team up and do a, a dance video or collab together live, we can do that. Art, I do art. If we want to do some drawing, we can do that. Making some organic smoothies or that pudding. We can definitely do that. Mm. These are so sweet. All the melons are good for you. Like Dr. Sebi said, get your watermelon with the seed. I can't wait to grow a garden. These are so sweet. All my fruit has to be firm. I like the stuff to crack, crunch, snap, crisp. Like when I eat organic chicken, which I haven't ate in a very long time, but if I do eat some pollo, you all right? These are like bars. I like bars. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. These are your candy bar. I love about watermelon, especially when it's perfect, when it's crisp, snap, crunchy, chewy, juicy, sweet, watermelonly. It's like having a glass of water, like with your fruit. It's it's so amazing. I don't have to tell y'all about it. Y'all eat watermelon. Mm mm mm. And remember, your food is your medicine. You are what you eat. I'm really also getting some uh, some different flowers, and I'm gonna be making 
like ginger snap cookies. I'm gonna make some ginger snap cookies. I'm gonna make some like um like some fruit and chocolate cookies. It's like I'm gonna put cacao chips, organic cacao chips with raisins, dried cherries, and I'm gonna throw that all in a cookie batter and cook that. Um Whoever want to collab with me, we're going to do a cookie day together. Organic. All organic. Um, I'm going to talk about the different flours because I'm going to start making my own sourdough bread. I love sourdough bread and it's gut healthy. Like sauerkraut. Pickled foods. All pickled foods. You want to eat that because... It helps with the gut, your gut health, your gut, your microbiome in your gut and in your brain. So you want to keep all of that balanced and healthy. Drink lots of water. Right now, I cannot get access to glass bottles of water. And I got to do some research. Maybe I can have them delivered. I did have a giant, like, which is in one of my storages, but excuse me, a giant um, water container. It was like, I think four gallons. I think it's a four gallon. Anyway, it's huge and it's glass and you can just go fill the water up. Get your alkaline spring water in glass. Cause all these plastics is messing us up. It's messing up the fellas and females with too much estrogen. We don't need all that estrogen. You know, it causes health problems. Dis it disrupts the body. Our, home, our hormones, our lymphatic system. Thyroid issues. Oh, there's too many plastics. So, back when I was in Arkansas, which, shout out to Arkansas. I love Arkansas. Um... At Harps, I used to get the cases of glass bottles of water. Mm -hmm. And they were the spring water. And it tastes so heavenly. And I mean, I used to buy hundreds of dollars cases of water a, a month. It was a lot. Because I used to get 12 bottles in a case. And I used to ask the store if they would order me like four or five cases. And I think we go through two cases a week. Anyway, if you can get four to get your bottle, your water that way, do so. Mm. Blueberries is about that tart. It's that tart factor for me. Tart. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think I'm going to eat all this. And remember, all you need to do is eat one good meal once a day. In all my life, I've never, even my family, we've never been, like my mom and I and my son, we've never been able to eat, you know, three square meals. It's, it's a no. We got some family members who can do it, but it's just too much food. I could never pull it off. Now, I used to be a heavy snacker, like snacking on everything, but I found out that's, I learned that that's not healthy either because it constantly causes your digestive tract to keep releasing all types of, you know, enzymes, bile, you know, your stomach acids, your, especially the pancreas, the insulin gets hit. So I'm learning that snacking all day is not healthy either because your body, your digestive tract is constantly going and it's not built for that. You know, because, um, to be honest with you, 
the only sugar I used to get was the uh, organic agave nectar and I had to stop because I think that like I was getting symptoms of like diabetic symptoms and you know I don't have an ounce of fat on me an ounce of fat but you can still become diabetic because I was constantly drinking my tea which by the way drink your green tea and your Rubio's tea oolong um Yeah, drink all those teas. But I'm gonna pick me up some really good honey. I don't, I didn't pick up, I was gonna pick up some honey, but I changed my mind because I like my honey in glass containers. Like, I've been watching like Dr. Burge, B E R G, Dr. Hyman. Mark Hyman, H-Y-M-A-N. I've been watching Dr. Uh, Todd Lapine, L-E-P-I-N-E. -E. Uh, Dr. Daniel Amen. You know, these are all doctors dealing with functional medicine. Um, they're trying to trailblaze. I think they piggyback, if you want to know mine, off of Dr. Sebi. Without Dr. Sebi, I don't think functional medicine, personally, in my humble opinion, would even be... Uh, born like you know it wouldn't be invented so shout out to dr savvy about diet um foods and uric acid carbonic acid um the third one uric acid um, carbonic acid um uh what's the other one there's a third one, like it's acids from dairy, acids from meat, meat products, blood-based products, and then there's acid from, um, I think it's wheat, the regular wheat flour. But I think that's where all this functional medicine is coming from. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Also, before I close this out, mm, mm, mm. I'm going to polish off these. Um, I am, um, if it works out this year, fine. But if not, it'll be top of net 24. If I don't get it completed, I could get it completed in time. I could. It all depends. A lot of factors are involved. But I, I'll be uh, doing my first uh, art show. So if you have any talent, it could be you make you're a chocolatier. You make the bomb chocolate and you sell it. You uh you are a uh I don't know, you got a um a product. Any kind of product. Mm. Um you do music, you sing, you dance, you create pottery. I don't know, you got a a watermelon shop, I don't know. Whatever it is, one, it's got to be your passion. Two, it's got to be something you love. Three, it's got to be organic if it's any kind of food or all natural. Um, it could be hair, like you do hair. It could be any of your passions. You can even be like breeding dogs or certain types of cats. 
whatever it is, stay in touch with me because I want to do a show. And then you can actually display what you do, what you have. And uh, yeah, and be able to make, you know, profit off of that. Let me know in the comment section if that's something that you'd be interested in. The sugar in this, oh. Mm, mm, mm. Polish this off. I'm um, time out. Mm. But I'll keep y'all posted and let me know in the comment if, the, if you have something that you do. And um, so when the uh, show, when I uh, orchestrate, and set everything up and set the dates and times and all that, I will let y'all know. And then you guys can jump on. And it's, it's no cost. You don't have to pay into it or nothing. You just say, look, I want to showcase my product or my breed of dogs or my special kind of cookies or, you know, my famous cakes. Uh, I do perform. You know, whatever your passion is, it don't matter what it is. As long as it fits nicely into the show, then we can make a run with it. All right, well, remember, every Tuesday is with Tuesday May. And, of course, it's going to be organic fruit, the organic lifestyle, a.k.a. the organic queen. All right, I'm out, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Remember, peace, love, is power. God bless.